In this video, you'll learn how to use the if else statement to control the flow of a program. The if else statement is a control flow statement that allows you to execute or skip a statement or statement block based on a specified condition. So the following illustrate the syntax of the if statement. If the boolean expression evaluates the true, then the statement block in the begin and end block is executed. Otherwise, the block statement is skipped and the control of the program is passed to the statement after the end keyword. Note that if the boolean expression contains a select statement, you must enclose the select statement in a parentheses. When the condition in the if clause evaluates the false and you want to execute another block, you can use the else clause. The following illustrate the if else statement. Each if statement has a condition. If the condition evaluates the true, then the block statement in the if clause is executed. If the condition is false, then the block code in the else clause is executed. SQL Server also allows you to nest an if else statement within another if else statement. So let's head over to Management Studio to get practical. In order to demonstrate the use of the if else statement, I'll be starting out with a simple program. So this program will simply check if a number is greater than 10 and if that is the case then it prints yes. So I'm going to start with begin my end statement. I'm going to declare a variable. I'm going to call this variable num and this is of type int. And here you can see equal to 10 right so i'm initializing the variable right away now the semicolon is not required however i'm just putting it there so the next line is if i have to check my expression here which will evaluate the true or false so this is where i'm putting the condition so if number is greater than 10 right we're going to print yes now let's execute this so basically we did not get a result the program executed successfully because here we are checking the no if the number is greater than 10 however the number is exactly 10 so let's change this and put 12 so now we have yes being displayed so you may be wondering where is the begin and the end for the if statement if you are using a single statement after the if then you don't have to use the begin and the end however if you want multiple statements to be executed after the if statement then you have to specify the begin and the end. So let's demonstrate this, right? So I'm going to copy and paste the print, yes. And I'm going to say, yes, 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 exclamation, right? So if we execute this, both statements will be printed, right? Now let's change the number to 10 and see what happens. Let's execute. Now we are getting yes, yes. Why is this so? This is because like I explained earlier, Without the begin, only the first statement will be controlled by the if statement. So to fix this, we need to specify begin and end. Now let's do a little tab to format this. Now let's execute the program again. And you can see that we did not get any output this time. So now you should be seeing the importance of the begin and the end statement. Or in other words, the importance of the block statements. So let's make this program a little bit more useful or smarter. So the first condition, we are checking if the number is greater than 10. However, if it's not greater than 10, we are going to say the number is not greater than 10, right? That's all we are going to say. So this is where we are going to use the else statement. So for the else statement, because we are going to be using a single line of code, we could simply say print the number is not greater than 10. Now when we execute this, we should get our result. The number is not greater than 10. However, if we are using multiple statements in the else block, then we would need to specify the begin and the end just like we did in the if section of the statement, right? Now remember, we can also have nested if. So I'm just going to copy this block of code and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to change the variable to number two, right? So here we could simply say, let's give that some space, if number equal 10. So here I'm just gonna simply print the number is 10. So let's go over this from the top. So here we have the begin, here we have the end for the block, right? 
Another way we could do this is use a set command. So we could say set num2 equal to 10, right? That works as well. So this is another way to initialize our variable. So here we're checking if the number is greater than 10. So we're in the begin section of that block and here is the end of that block. Now this line of code is checking if number is greater than 10, right? So I'm going to change this to greater than or equal to 10. So this block will get executed. So here we are saying yes, the number is greater than or equal to 10. Now here I am going to check if the number is equal to 10, then I'm going to say, hey, the number is 10. Now let's execute this block of code. So yes, the number is greater than or equal to 10. And the second line is saying, yes, it is 10. But what if we change this number to 11, right? What will happen? Now let's execute and find out. So it's only saying, yes, the number is greater than or equal to 10. This block of code, which is checking if number 2 is equal to 10, did not evaluate the true. So this line of statement did not get executed. So now let's look at a practical example using a query. So I'm just going to copy this block of code again. I'll be getting rid of these statements and I'll be keeping this else statement here. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to modify this block of code to find a person with a specific business entity ID. Now if this business entity ID is not found, then we'll print an error message saying the person was not found. So let's change this here. So I'm going to change the variable to BID for business entity ID. So here I'm going to write a select statement that returns the person with a specified business entity ID. So this is just a select statement that finds a person based on the provided business entity ID, which I'm using as a variable. So now in the if expression, we need to check if we found the result. However, if we check the BID, then definitely we will have a value in that, in that variable. But what if no record was found, right? What will the result be? Statement will still evaluate the true, right? So we have a system variable called row count. What the row count does is that it returns the number of rows affected by the previous statement, right? So here I'm going to check if row count is greater than zero. So if row count is greater than zero, that means we have found some data, right? So here in the begin block, once record is found, I'm going to print a statement that says record of person with business entity ID has been found. So here we need to print the business entity ID. Now in order to achieve this, right? We have to now do a concatenation of the business person ID, which is stored in the variable, right? So in order to do this, we have to end the original string, use the plus, which is used to concatenate strings, right? So we're gonna say a plus, and here we need to specify the variable that we need to be concatenated to this string. So I'm going to say at BID. So now I need to add the rest of the string, which is as being found. Otherwise, we could say that person with the business entity ID was not found. So let me copy this print statement here. And I'm just going to put it in the L section. So we're going to say as not being found, right? Now, if we execute this block, it will fail. Conversion fail when converting virtual value, right? To data type int. So the BID is an integer. And before we can pass it to the print function, we have to cast it or convert it to a var char. So here we're going to use the cast function and I'm going to say cast bid as int. Now let's do the same thing for the second print statement. Now let's execute this again. So my bad this shouldn't be int but var char. Now let's execute the statement again and we can see that the result was returned successfully. Now let's check the message section. As you can see one row was affected record of person with business entity id was found no space need to go here now let's set a business entity id that does not exist so let's say a negative 21 now let's execute this statement again and no record was returned now let's check the messages record of person with business entity id 21 was not found so using if else statement is a great way to manage the flow of your program 
and manage errors within your transactions.